Hello, welcome to Inequality Principle. This is Mike Sai. Some pressing news right now. Some pressing news. Old Joe Biden. Old Joe Biden has challenged Donald Trump to two debates, one in June, one in September, I think. Now, you have to understand, Joe Biden is under a lot of heat, under a lot of scrutiny. His leadership is being questioned. His mental state is being questioned. His ability to command and control the narrative is being questioned. His ties to to Israel are being questioned. And all this is good. All this is good. So it should be alarming to the Trump campaign when Biden is trying to put forth an interview. He's trying to put forth a debate. Right? And if it's one thing that the deep state liberals know is, and the one thing they've done right, is make the liberal conscience inflamed when they hear the name Trump. They have associated so closely the name Trump with racism and white supremacy and xenophobia and genocide. Somehow they've directly linked his name with this, that people will feel they have an obligation or the right to assault you if you wear a MAGA hat. That's how good they prime the the conscience of their cult followers. Is if you wear a MAGA hat, they think they have a right to attack you physically for supporting something they don't support. Because this is how they have psychologically primed their voter base. So, while Trump is going through all these court cases and he's kind of out of the news and he's not really 100% on the cycle and the liberals right now are more focused with protesting on campuses and stopping the Israel-Palestine um, war than they are with Trump. They could care less about Trump. And they don't like this, right? Trump, the one thing the liberals did right is they demonized him sufficiently to a point where he is perceived as a demon from the pits of hell itself to liberals. They don't even believe in hell, but if they had to, they would think Trump came from there and they think he's worse. They think he's Epstein, right? So Trump, really, if he's going to make a good move, if he's going to make a logical move that's going to benefit him or his candidacy, candidacy, he shouldn't do the debate. Now, this is not me saying that Trump will lose the debate. I don't think he'll lose the debate. But I don't think the voters of what we have in our nation right now are logical people. They're emotional voters. So regardless of what logic that you bring to the table of what you've done under your term, you didn't start any new wars. The economy was good. They unleashed the pandemic. They lied about it. They covered the media. They exploited the George Floyd crisis to destroy property and create instability in the nation. And this is one of the factors in which they play to determine whether uh, who's going to win president or not. So what they did is they destabilized the nation, unleashed the plague, locked everybody down, and then just kept Joe Biden in a basement, not out in the open, away from any type of interaction long enough to reach the election where they can implement their plans of winning, of takeover. Now, Trump has the ability to do the same because Biden has taken enough else during his presidency that nothing needs to be said about his competency. Everybody knows he's incompetent. He's a blabbering idiot. And what's going on with him is elder abuse. He does not have the mental acuity he had 10 years ago, five years ago, if that. And he's diminishing rapidly every single time he's on camera. He can't make up his mind. Do I want to give bombs to Israel? Do I want to give aid to Gaza? Do I want to give bombs to Israel and give aid to Gaza? Do I want to say I'm not going to support your Rafa invasion? Then at the same time, give you a billion dollars to continue supporting your Rafa invasion? What ground is he standing on? What principle does he have? He has none. He's just moving along with whatever his people are telling him to do. And it's easy to see that he has no spine and he's being controlled. And he doesn't even know where he is or who he is or what he's supporting or if he's even president. He's like, mermaid, man. 
He's like mermaid man in bikini bottom sitting in the retirement home, except they have him running the nation. So what they're saying is the one thing that the liberals can unify under, even if they hate Biden right now, even if he's the worst politician that we have ever had in our country and the vice president that we have is even worse than he is. Amazingly. The one thing that liberals can unify under, if anything, they'll let the world burn before they'll acknowledge Trump as a president. So they want to get them on stage and show Trump and get him to say things that would align with what he is doing in Israel and that would align with his foreign policy uh, takes and the fact that he has a Jewish um, stepson, I mean, not stepson, uh, son-in-law and his moving of the embassy to Jerusalem. They want to get him on all these things and show him that there wouldn't be a difference between having Biden in the office and Trump in the office, except you hate Trump. That's what they're going to try to do. They're saying it's not going to be anything different. It'll be the same thing, except you hate Trump more. And he's a racist, xenophobic, bigot, misogynist, uh, Epstein guy. That's what they want. To, that's the narrative they're trying to build, because on policy, they have no ground to stand on. On the state of this economy, they have no ground to stand on. Nobody has savings anymore. Everybody's living paycheck to paycheck. Right? Nobody can afford new cars. Nobody can afford to buy a house. The college tuition's killing everyone. So you already did the little, oh, I'm going to pay off your college tuition plan. Right? To try to bribe for votes. People are losing their jobs left and right. Service industry is being destroyed. People can't afford to eat out, and they can't afford to get groceries. He did the worst Afghanistan withdrawal, one of the worst military withdrawals we've ever seen in, in, in recorded U.S. history. He's destabilized the Eurasian continent, or the Eurasian plate. Ukraine is still at war. Israel is now at war, and expanding their war to Rafa, which is putting millions of civilians at, at risk. And he's saying he's not going to fund them while continuing to fund them. And he has no ground. He's the worst foreign policy president I've probably ever seen in my entire life. I've never seen nothing like this ever, probably since George Bush. And that's that's saying a lot. The worst foreign policy president, all Trump has to do, if his ego allows him, if his elite, his ego says, hey, you know what? I don't need to show my face because they're just going to call me a racist and a bigot. And then they'll stir up the hatred for me on MSNBC and CNN and replay our our interviews over and over. And the puppets will sit there and watch it and get brainwashed all day and night about how evil Trump is, even though he didn't start any wars. And he probably did the most um, advancing um, policy in the Middle East that's been done in the last hundred years. With the Abraham Accords. And all that was undermined with a single Biden presidency. All of it. And guess what? Guess who wants Biden to win? Putin wants Biden to win again. Zelensky wants Biden to win again. Netanyahu wants Biden to win again. Uh, Xi Jinping wants Biden to win again because this is a Manchurian candidate who they can bully and they can threaten and all he's going to say is don't and then he's not going to do anything at all. He has no backbone. He has no spine. He has no ability to actually take action. On the world stage, everybody knows it and this is when they're going to try to get all their influential moves done before a leader with a spine actually takes over. All Trump has to do is not do nothing. People can forget what he looks like because the liberals are fighting themselves. And this is what happened in Troy, the movie Troy, when Achilles was fed up with the leadership and he didn't want to fight no more. And then the Trojans started losing the war. And Hector is like, yo, we should just stop attacking. It's good. We shouldn't meet them. They want to attack us. That's good. But they're they're fighting amongst themselves. We should stay back. And then his dad was like, nah, we're going to attack them on the beach. Don't attack them on the beach because that might get Achilles stirred up again. Now, I'm not saying they have an Achilles, but... Their Achilles is their hatred for Trump. They will destroy the world. They will launch every nuke in our stockpile and wipe out the entire world 
if that means Trump doesn't win. That's how much they hate this man. They will extinct the human race in all possible forms of life that we know of in the universe if that means Trump won't win. That's how much they hate this guy. This is how brainwashed they are. If they had a choice between Hitler, Judas Iscariot, and Trump, Trump will come in third place. This is how much they hate this man. <laughs> I'm, tell- I'm telling you. I'm telling you. The hatred has no bounds. The best thing, I have to inform you for the, for the fourth time, do not take these debates. There's no point. He has shot himself in the foot, in the leg, in the arm, in the tongue, in the back. He shot himself everywhere. Just let, keep letting them shoot themselves. The liberals are fighting against the liberals. There's a reason they've been trying to stop all these campus protests. These are liberal schools full of liberals protesting against liberal ideas and propaganda. Do not fall for the bait. There is no benefit, absolutely no benefit that you get watching a debate between Biden and Trump. We already know where they stand politically. We already know what they're going to say. And there's nothing Biden can say except he's just as bad as I am. And he's a racist, xenophobic, bigot, transphobic, homophobic, whatever term they're going to use. That's all they can say about him. And they're just going to frame it to the point where people just get mad at Trump again for no reason, logically, and make up nonsense and ignore everything that Biden has done that's equal or worse to than what Trump has done. Him sniffing little girls and taking showers with his daughter and calling blacks monkeys who he didn't want his kids going to racial jungles. All this is and, and his, his mentor being a racist KKK grand wizard who he worked with for like 20 years when he was in the Senate. All this is documented proof, but we all ignore this because it's politically expedient. This is the nature of our pol- political system. It's crazy. It's crazy the hypocrisy I've witnessed in my lifetime. But Trump, if he wants to win, should not, I'll say it for the final time, should not debate Joe Biden. There's no point. All right, it's the end of this video. My next one's probably going to be sports-related. Thanks for coming. Inequality Principle. Peace.